Shopping for a PC graphics card, you will be bombarded with misinformation. Mostly, people aren't intentionally misleading you. Mostly. Usually, they just don't understand what they're selling, but you're the one who ends up getting burned. The biggest misconception is this. No, you cannot compare performance by looking at specifications. Take these cards in completely different price brackets, for example. This 4GB graphics card is only about $100, but no, it is not an amazing deal compared to this 4GB one for $1,000. Sure, they're both GeForce, they both have DirectX 11, their clock speeds are similar, and the RAM amount is the same, but the $1,000 card is easily more than an order of magnitude faster than the $100 one because because these cards use different design architectures. Here's an analogy. A modern loaded semi can travel around 1400 miles on a single tank of fuel. In 2009, Ford's Fusion Hybrid traveled around 1400 miles on a single tank of fuel. These are similar specs and they're both interesting facts, but they have nothing to do with each other. A semi has a 200 gallon fuel tank, runs on diesel, and carries an enormous load while that hybrid has a 17 and a half gallon fuel tank, runs on gas and electricity, and carries around one dude. Another flawed method of comparing specifications is to compare across different graphics processor manufacturers. This chart is interesting, sure, but I also have another big word for it that starts with I, because it cannot conclusively tell us which of these is better than the other. It just doesn't work that way. And that's not to say that looking at specs is always a total waste of time. When comparing products based on the same design architecture and with similar specifications to each other, relative performance can sometimes be inferred, but even this should be done with great caution. So at this point, you're probably getting frustrated. How do we actually compare performance? Real games. You wanna know how they actually run on the card that you're looking at. This information is definitely out there. We do graphics card reviews on the Linus Tech Tips YouTube channel, but it's important to find a review that covers the games that you want to play with gear that's realistic for you. For example, if you have a 1080p monitor, don't buy based on a review where the cards were tested at 4K resolution. But there's great news. Aside from my other channel, there are literally hundreds of sites that review graphics cards. A few of my favorites in no particular order, also linked in the video description, are HardwareCanucks.com and OnTech.com and PCPer.com. Okay, so now you're sitting there saying, fine Linus, but what about all the stuff besides performance? Stability, heat output, power consumption, and other software features. These are all important to me too. Well, there's a ton of information out there about that stuff too, but it's a little outside the scope of this video and I know it can be overwhelming, but the odds are excellent that if you ch go charging into a typical PC hardware community asking questions like, who do you think has the best drivers, AMD or Nvidia? You're gonna start an argument. So at least let me point you in the right direction. In my mind at the time of filming this, AMD's key advantages are true audio, project mantle, and great multi-monitor support with their iFinity technology. Nvidia's key advantages are game stream, GeForce experience with shadow play, and G-Sync, which makes undesirable effects like lag due to V-Sync and tearing due to high frame rates disappear. And I guess if you want a game in stereo 3D, then 3D vision would also be an advantage for Nvidia. Now, I'm going to try to update this video with annotated links to my own explanations of these technologies, but it might take me a while. So in the meantime, you can head over to linustechtips.com. Our community forum is, I believe, friendlier than most, so you can seek additional clarity about these features. Speaking of features, our featured sponsor for this video is Hotspot Shield, a VPN solution that can be set up in just a few minutes. A VPN allows you to mask your location, which gives you access to content that would be blocked in your region and gives you more privacy online. Follow the link in the video description and use offer code LINUS to save 20% on their elite service. Thanks Hotspot Shield for supporting TechQuickie. Thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to share this video if you thought it was useful. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, leave a comment if you have any feedback that you'd like us to see and as always, don't forget to subscribe.